this Saturday, March 4th, uh, Indian American community uh, had the peace march in memory of uh, Servara Kanachpoholtia. Uh, he was shot and killed uh, uh, by a uh, hateful uh, individual and uh, the, com the community, all uh, biggest community I've seen in a long, long time. Uh, came all together to show their solidarity uh, against his hate and uh, and call for peace and tolerance and uh, with Jeff Strait uh, uh, we are here and we're gonna talk to some of the organizers and some of the people who attended there. Life is precious. You cannot take away any of anybody's life. My name is Ravi Sagi. Uh, I'm Vice President for IAM. Uh, we are here to convey our sympathies to the family of uh, Srinivas Kuchibotla, uh, who is uh, deceased in an incident in Kansas City uh, due to the hate crime. So we want to condemn the hate crimes against any kind of uh, religion, race or color or anything. We are all uh, a big uh, humanity. We are here to uh, just uh, do a peace march uh, uh, for the uh, community. But we are also here to express our solidarity. We want to reach out to every community in America to kind of uh, assure them that you know, as Indian Americans, we are with our Jewish friends, we are with our Muslim American friends, we are with our LGBT and we are with our gay friends. And to the significance of, uh, uh, of uh, that gathering uh, reaction to this hate crime? Yeah, actually, uh, you know, the hate and uh, racism, bigotry seems to be uh, on the increase in the, in the most recent past. And I believe more and more people are coming together in response to increasing incidents of hatred and bigotry that's going on in our country. Uh, everybody is concerned about that and uh, recognizes the need for uh, standing up against it. Uh, for the record, my name is Sia Her, and I am the executive director of the state agency uh, by the name of the Council on Asian Pacific Minnesotans, and we are one of the five advisory um, agencies within the state of Minnesota. We were created by the legislature with a very specific mission, and that is that our job is to advise the governor and the legislature on issues of importance to the Asian American and Pacific Islander community. And our Asian Indian community is the second largest community under our umbrella. And so, you know, when an incident such as the one in Kansas took place, you know, it broke my heart. I am the chief advocate within state government on behalf of the community. And so you guys are going to be busy in the next four years. <laughs> Thank you so much. And uh, is this considered like a waking up call for the Indian com community here? It seems like this has been going on with the Muslim blacks for a long time, and it seems like this is the biggest Indian community I've seen. Tell us about the you know, political activism in the Indian community in the Twin Cities. Uh, we are, uh, Indian community is a peace-loving community and uh, we are uh, part of civic engagement earlier but uh, this is the first incident where we want to bring the uh, awareness to the community at large. Uh, that's why we are gathering here to show our support and also bring awareness uh, uh, to the community at large uh, on uh, what's going on and uh, uh, what is not right. Uh, our message is, you know, um, for every hate, for every violence, I think show love, show peace. And that Showing love and peace, this is tradition in the Indian community, in Indian philosophy, Gandhi and all of that. And there you can go through the Martha Luther King, who was also influenced by uh, uh, Gandhi and uh, Indian. Right. Uh, if you go back to the history of Indian independence, uh, Mahatma Gandhi uh, kind of uh, uh, did a non-violence movement, and uh, there was uh, that is uh, a, a, uh, one of the things uh, that he showed to the world that uh, you can achieve uh, things even without uh, any violence. Uh, as a Tibetan, uh, I grew up in India, so there's a special reason uh, why I'm why I'm here. And uh, in our culture, uh, human life uh, is considered very precious uh, with lots of potential. Uh, one can achieve anything uh, if one works. Uh, although death is considered a part of life, however, 
untimely death is always very sad. So from an Indian community perspective, uh, the, the emotions are many. Uh, the first emotion, of course, is to fight back. But the second, immediate, immediate second is to uh, figure out how to overcome that anger. And the best way for us to uh, do that is to think in relationship to who we are in this uh, country. And it's not that we need the money, when I think of myself, so I think of uh, myself as an American citizen. Well, this country is now uh, run by uh, a guy who doesn't share that sentiment with you. So what other sort of action that the speaker the was uh, alluding to? action plan is what be is visible, keep talking meeting, to your legislators, husband, and stay engaged. On a tragic uh, incident like that, and that's driven solely by hate, what the Tibet, Tibetan culture can bring in to kind of console and kind of soften the blow for the family and the community here? Well, it might sound very philosophical and very deep. Uh, His Holiness, the Dalai Lama, always expresses we are all same at the humanity level, at the human level, we are all same. We all want happiness. We all want peace. We want to avoid suffering. So Start life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness. Mulagi <laughs> le